Today I'm gonna show you how these five things can improve your kayak fishing experience. Let's go. The first thing that you should do is get the right equipment. Assuming that you already have the right kayak, getting the right fishing equipment is the next important thing. And we're gonna start with these. See, these, these are rods. I love long rods because you could cast really far away, but you're on a kayak. So I highly recommend you get shorter rods. Why? Because not only is it be easier to cast, also you may avoid hitting the rods on the back, like the ones you have on the milk crate. Having a shorter rod means it will be easier to land that fish better. Like you don't have that crazy rod that is the size of your kayak and it's pretty much like the fish is on the other side. If you have a shorter rod, it's gonna be easier to bring that fish closer to you and do what you need to do. I personally use rods between 6.8 to 7.2 the, the, that's probably the longest 7.2 like this Google rod but um hey do what works for you if you're a shorter person maybe you want to have a shorter rod than that maybe 6.6 six, six. if you're a bigger person maybe you want to go bigger or you have a giant kayak like make sure that it actually works for you but i recommend shorter rods talking about shorter rods make sure the butt of the rod is not too big like this one is fine but i seen buds that are like humongous and what, what happens there is that you're basically fighting your personal flotation device and the fish trust me you don't want to be doing that so get a rod that was designed for kayak fishing or at least that is not that crazy big the second way to make your kayak fishing better is to get yourself a nice and comfortable pfd and you want to make it your own this is very important guys you gotta be safe in the water number one for, but forget safety we're going to talk about fishing here you want to catch more fish so this thing is a battle station and you can make it into the best fishing tool whatever you use to catch more fish on the water like for example you could have your phone right here tethered to this you have it in here you have your keys your lures like if you throw a lot of lures you may have you could have a pack of lures right here right you could switch it up quick if you use a fish attractant you could have a bottle right here somewhere right or or your uh, cleaning supplies, whatever, you can make this into an effective fishing machine. And it's gonna be a plus, not a negative. And talking about comfortable. See, you wanna, you wanna be able to wear this thing all the time. So I suggest you get one that is super comfortable for you. I love this uh, Old Town Angler one, but if you don't wanna use Old Town, you have the NRS Shinox, they have several versions. I'm probably gonna link some of them down in the description. Of course, those may be affiliate links, go check it out. But yeah, this is a must. I love this thing, especially, I don't have to worry about, you know, where my keys are or my wallet. I could just put it here. Someone is stopped me on the water, like a police officer. I got my ID, I got everything. And not only that, it makes my fishing a lot better because again, I'm fishing with, uh, plastics whatever I have them here I don't have to be reaching somewhere like if I'm standing up and casting I don't want to be reaching down to get a new bait it's right here you know what before we continue let's talk about the sponsor of this video I turned the car off so you can actually hear me I'm outdoors lithium batteries if you have a motor and you like to fish with your motor like you know hands-free fishing trolling around islands and stuff like that casting or doing all that stuff you better get a lithium battery and the best batteries in the game is amp outdoors lithium amp outdoors <laughs> it's amp outdoors lithium batteries why because they last a long time the price is just right you get more for it like if a battery is a hundred you're probably getting a little more juice than that on the battery because this guy cares about you and you can even see the inside of the batteries like nobody does that amp outdoors is truly the best and guess what guys if you use coupon code alias5 it's gonna save you five percent and also help the channel a lot now let's get back to the next tip how many times you landed landed no because you haven't landed yet but how many times you hook into your pv fish and you bring it to the boat you're fighting it you almost got it on the boat and then you lose oh, it no. My God. Uh, a lot right I, that happened to me even with a net so so you have to come up with a landing system something that works for you for who you are like for example in my case if I'm fishing for a sea trial I know I could lose them anytime so I gotta be quick so I put a net right there in front of my boat and I pretty much bring the the fish like I put the rod below the water the rod tip bring the fish to me and just do a bow flip into the net done the fish is safe safely on the boat I got it so I highly recommend you do the same. I've been working with the Yak Attack Leverage Landing Net, uh, whatever the name is. 
that thing is pretty cool I like the concept I like how nice it is it's very well built I'm gonna link it below I'm gonna it in so you go check it out but do your own landing program system whatever name you want to give it and follow it because you're gonna get more fish on the boat instead of losing them and then crying afterwards because because you lost your PV uh, right next to the boat hey I know you probably love your super hard shelf color because it costs you a lot of money but if you're gonna get fish I highly recommend getting a soft cooler I use a hobby cooler I'm actually gonna link it down below that thing has been with me for years haven't broken it holds eyes for a long time and what I love about it is that I could put that thing in front of the boat in the back I could put it like upside down it's very flexible how you could store this thing on your kayak and depending how much stuff you're taking with you hey it's super awesome to have a cooler that could go pretty much in any way and also hold ice also it means that being a soft cooler it could probably be longer than a normal actually it's longer than a normal cooler and you're gonna be able to put bigger fish in there get the right cooler for what you're actually doing I personally love those soft coolers do you know that you could actually steer your kayak by working a lure yep I mean if there's not a lot of current kind of like normal environment not too much going on not too much wind when you cast a heavy lure and you reel it back in you actually could see your kayak kind of going the way of the lure so if you cast to your right and you retrieve that it's gonna turn to your right if you cast to your left the same thing and the other thing uh, sometimes you're standing up you're fishing and you just want to move a little bit you could actually steer the kayak with your rod I mean assuming it's not a heavy kayak this these things may not apply to you like if you have like a monster kayak and it's super windy and it's a horrible day but if you have like a normal kayak something that paddles well you're gonna be able to do this 100% so practice you know pay attention to the little movements and you'll be more successful bonus content look we know what we're after. We know what kind of species we want to catch. We know what we fish with. So if you fish with like light tackle, why not have that already set up? One rod could be your drop shot. Or for me that I do a lot of saltwater fishing, I call it my snapper rod. It's just a light line and I put a live bait on it, ready to go. Another, another thing, like if I'm going fishing and I want to catch a shark, I have a heavy rod already set up with a bare hook, ready to get a piece of meat that I'm going to catch hook it up and throw it in the water it's ready to go live it's awesome so have the same thing like you know what you're after so prepare accordingly so you don't have to be oh now i have to remove this lure of this rod because i want to use that bait no take a few already predetermined to do a certain thing and if you have to change it up on the water later well fine great but at least go already sort of prepare right you don't want to be wasting time on the water rigging so guys don't forget this video is being sponsored by Ampo Doors Lithium Batteries. If you want to save 5% on the best lithium batteries there is in the game, use coupon code ALICE5 and uh, keep watching more videos.